What's up, fish tank people? Fishtanktv.com, Dawson's Fishtanks.com, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How is everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great week. Hope you're excited about an awesome week ahead. Hope your NFL team does well today. The Browns aren't playing. It means the Browns aren't losing. So life's good for Dustin. Here's what's going on, folks. Today I want to talk about not one, not two, but three species of loaches for you all. That's right. Species Sunday triple threat bringing it to you. Loaches, botias particularly, fantastic bottom feeding fish. They come from all over Asia. And I'm going to show you some maps of those in a minute. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful at killing snails. I wish I had a business that I could just rent people loaches. Rent a loach. Dustin's rent a loach. You rent a loach for me, it eats all your snails. You come back, you give me back the loach and it's fatter and healthier. So, um, they've got the, uh, biologically they're just made to do it. They've got these fangs that kind of point down and they can poke around at stuff. Um, but you don't, if you have a snail problem, you don't want to give them a lot of food. You actually want to cut back the feeding for a while on your whole tank. Your other fish will be fine. Everybody will be okay. Don't feed your fish for a couple days and let the snails just be annihilated by the loaches. So, uh, I thought that was pretty sweet. Just start them a couple days. They'll eat the heck out of your snails. Another thing that I thought was interesting is they also have these pharyngeal teeth, if you will, or throat teeth. And I, it was pretty cool because what they do is they take the food and they actually like kind of suck it in. They got these, they, they deep throated, if you will. And they, uh, they like eat the rest of it on its way down. Goldfish have these teeth, by the way, too. So, um, yeah, something else cool about them biologically that I didn't notice until I had a Votia angelicus this. They've got these wicked little spikes that kind of come out and go whop right above their eyes. So if somebody's messing with them or they feel threatened and they're sitting still, they don't do it while they're swimming. Um, they'll just kind of like pow and like point this little spike out like, don't mess with me, dude. I got the spike. So uh, I thought that was pretty wicked. Great little bottom feeder. They generally like the company of others. I personally only kept them in pairs, but you can see just by the way these two dudes act, my beautiful Botia Angelicus, uh, that they obviously like having each other around. So I'd like to see them in a school or six, and they could be pretty wicked. Um, note one thing with these bottom feeders, though. Uh, I don't recommend keeping them with quarry cats. Quarries are just too chill to kind of keep up with the eating habits of most loaches. Uh, loaches are like generally just faster, quicker, get to the food easier. Um, these guys swim up with much more aggressive fish to uh, eat on the food as well. So they don't leave a lot of left for the quarry cats. I'm keeping them in here, but I make sure my quarries are well fed, but the loaches are definitely faster and all over it. So a um, cu couple of species worth checking out. I actually got four species for you. Three of them that I like, one of them that I hate. Um, one worth checking out, yo-yo loach. Yo-yo loaches, folks. Uh, they come from India and the northern part of India and the kind of the Ganges uh, river basin, if you will, readily available. I like them a little uh, more aggressive than in some other ones, but still overall a, a pretty community loach, one worth checking out. Uh, zebra loaches are another one. They actually come from the western part of India in the uh, Ghats of India. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it right. Um, these, both of these fish I've seen, they get about, uh, you know, three inches or so. The striped ones are also uh, pretty commonly available. And then here you can see this photo of the peaceful looking Mekong River. Isn't that beautiful? But in this peaceful river is an unpeaceful asshole of a fish called the skunk loach. All right, this fish, I hate this fish. I'm sorry. I had him in this 125 down in Florida. I was on a loach bender. I had just gotten some cool loaches, and I was like, I'm going to check out this skunk loach. This little white bastard swam all over. It was just ruining the feng shui in my tank. It was angry, aggressive. I'd put him in with African cichlids. I do not. Dustin does not recommend skunk loaches for a peaceful zen tank. If you've got some African cichlids or some mean fish, put him there. Fish was ruthless, ruthless, chasing everybody around. So I am the anti-skunk loach. Do not buy skunk loaches if you want a peaceful, you're not, they're not a peaceful fish. I don't like them. So, and finally, my favorite loach, the Botia angelicus. Okay, now I got this from my dude Muggsy. I hope he still has a pet store in Pompano Beach, Florida. It was sick. Yeah, he's like, what are these? It's a Botia angelicus. And I got them, they were this big. These guys are smaller. They look a lot like the yo-yo loach. When they get bigger, they get darker and they have these like, uh, golden dots all over them. Man, wicked, wicked cool. So um, these are from the uh, all, uh, their Mariam or whatever, Burma area. And uh, you can see it on the map here. Also perhaps in Thailand. So uh, Botia loaches are some of my favorites. So there's three loaches I like. One species of loach that I hate. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, okay? Check out the top 10 Planet Tank tips. Tell me what you love, hate, know about loaches. Everybody make it an awesome week and tank on. Later!